Greetings to you all my brothers and sisters in the matchless and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I welcome you all to this gracious word program may the grace of God and peace of Christ be with us all and guide us as we desire to study the word of God in our today's lesson we are going to uh, look from the scripture about the value of our home let's know that God has made two valuable institutions the first one is the home or house where we live where we enjoy the fellowship with our father or mother or husband or wife or children so that is the first institution that was ever created by god god wants us to enjoy that relationship and enjoy our happiness in that institution the home or house the second one is the church it was purchased by the blood of christ and we have blessings in that in our today's lesson i want to share with you from the scriptures about the value of our home where we live daily where we enjoy daily with our relatives with our blood relations first point is the home is the place of rest and relaxation for every human being many people do not enjoy the blessings that we have in our home but god says it's a place for us to take rest and have a relaxation let's read john chapter 20 verse 10 then the disciples went away again to their own homes my dear brothers and sisters and dear viewers the bible says that we have a home everyone have a home where we can go and take rest and relax ourselves wherever we go wherever we have a programs or tasks to complete but at the last at the end of the day we want to come to our home to take rest and be relaxed it's a place to enjoy and take rest and be relaxed this is what the bible tells the second thing in first corinthians chapter 11 verse 34 we can read that the apostle tells that you are coming here for eating and having your food but god wants us to keep this church as a place of spiritual awareness if you want to have eat and have your food you can go home and do that this means the home or our house is a place where we can get our nourishment we can have our food we can be healthy we can take care of ourselves the children can enjoy snacks uh, we can eat whatever we like this happiness in that and that is the place the home is the place where we can enjoy that one so the home or our house where we live daily is a place to take rest and relax is a place we can have our nourishment where we can be healthy the third thing we can read that matthew chapter 8 verse 6 saying lord my servant is lying at home paralyzed dreadfully tormented here a man talks to our lord and he says that my servant is lying at his home physically ill so we can clearly understand that when we are ill when we are becoming tired when we are becoming ill health we just want to go to our home and lie down many people can go to the hospitals and uh, other uh, places where we can have our treatment but at the end after some days they want to go home and take rest we can do a surgery in the hospital but we cannot be there for a, our lifetime we just want to go home and take rest and prepare our body to do all the regular work so the home or our house what god has made or what god has given us is a place where we can retreat ourselves when we are physically ill so everyone have the experience of having illness or having surgeries or having treatment but we want to come and take rest and prepare our body for our regular work and we want to be in our home yes my beloved brothers and sisters the home is a place where we can take care of our body and when we are physically ill we can take care of our body to become healthy the next point i would like to share with you is from this verse mark chapter 5 verse 19 however jesus did not permit him but said to him go to your friends and tell them what great things the lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you the house is next the place where we can enjoy our fellowship with our friends and neighbors and relatives 
You see, when we have a function, we want to have it in our home. We want to share our love to our relatives. We want to enjoy our fellowship with our relatives, neighbors, and friends. So, the home is a blessed place to enjoy our fellowship with our relatives, with our neighbors, and with our friends. So, that is a blessed place to live. The next verse that we are going to see regarding the blessing of the home is John chapter 19, verse 27. Then he said to the disciples, Behold your mother, and from that hour, the disciples took her to his own home. My dear brothers and sisters, the house or the home, what God has instituted or made and made us to live in that is a place where the people who needs care are being taken care of. Place to take care about the people who are in need. A husband might be in some of the need. He may, might need some care. Yeah. Wife may need some care and she may be in some distress. The children may be needing some care. So, the home or our house is the place where everyone's close needs can be taken care of. So, it's the best place to live. Don't become weary about your home. Kindly enjoy the blessings that are inside our home or house. Let's enjoy those fellowship, the relationship that we have among one another in the house, what God has instituted. So, here we can see that. It's a place of caring for those who are in need. And the children are downtrodden or they are being sick or being mentally ill. The parents have the responsibility to take care of them. When the parents are uh, heavily laden with the work burden, the children have the responsibility to go and console them, to go and share their happiness with their parents. So that is the place where each one, everyone's needs are being taken care of. The next thing we can see from the scripture about the blessing of the home is from Mark chapter 5 verse 19. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, Go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you. If Jesus mentions, go home to your friends, go home to your relatives. We can tell that go home to your father and mother, your children and share the good news. That's the place where we can share and enjoy the good news. Many times in today's world, the people who live in the house do not want to share the good news in their home, enjoy the relationship in their home, but they want to go out and enjoy the relationship outside where there are plenty of evil. That becomes a great problem for every human being. But Jesus says, go and share the good news in your home. So we need to share every good news, every burden that we have in our home so that it can be rectified. That's the God's purpose for home. In the home, the husband has some responsibility to fulfill. The wife has some responsibility to fulfill. The children have some responsibility to fulfill. So everyone's responsibilities, everyone's needs are being taken care of in the home. And when we have a good news, we need to first share it with the people, those who are in the home, those who are close to us. So that's the thing God expects. The next thing about the blessing being in the home is 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 35. And if they want to learn something, let them ask their own husband at home, for it is shameful for women to speak in church. My dear friends, the next blessing that we have in the home is it's a place of instruction. In today's world, most children or most people do not want to listen to instructions. Do not want them to be disciplined. Hence, they go out of the home and they enjoy their fellowship with the worldly people, evil people, because they do not want to get instruction. But God wants us to get our instruction, valuable things from the home. So let us hear the instructions that will give life to our way. So let's try to hear the instructions that will bless our life. The final thing that God wants us to enjoy in the home is, uh, let's read Titus chapter 2 verse 5. To be discreet, chaste, homemakers, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be blasphemed. Finally, brothers and sisters, the house or home is the place where we need to fulfill our personal responsibility. Inside the house, there will be persons who should fulfill their responsibilities as a husband, as a wife, as a father, as a mother, as a children, as a grandfather, as a grandmother. But everyone's responsibility should be fulfilled in the home. 
when everyone's responsibilities are fulfilled by themselves that becomes a happy home unless otherwise we do not fulfill our responsibilities in our home being in the position where god has placed us a house or a home cannot be happy or a blessed one dear friends we need to understand that we need to fulfill our personal own responsibility what we have in our home whether it may be a husband or wife or a father or mother or a children or anything we need to fulfill that responsibility many times we think that we have responsibility to fulfill only in the world with regards to our work but god wants us to understand that we have our own personal responsibility to be fulfilled in the home that makes the home as a blessed and a happier one so in, in our today's lesson we can learn that we have a blessedness and happiness in the home is a place for rest and relaxation is a place where we can get nourishment it's a place where we can take care of ourselves when we are physically ill it's a place where we can enjoy the fellowship with friends relatives and neighbors it's a place where the members of the home who are in need are being taken care and it's a place to share our good news whatever we want to enjoy that good news we should share with the persons in the home and it's a place where we can hear to instruction and be disciplined and finally it's a place where we need to fulfill our personal responsibility this is the thing that god had in mind when he instituted or established the home or house for every individual so blessed one when god's wish is fulfilled in the house i thank you all for listening to this bible verses and this sermon let's make our home a place where we can enjoy the fellowship and be happy let's pray our heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time of listening to your word we have learned today that the house or home where we are living is a place where we can enjoy our blessings and happiness we have learned today that it has been instituted it has been made by you for us to live in that home let's enjoy that fellowship and happiness in the home as you wish in jesus precious name we pray amen it is god's will that you must be saved first listen to the bible truth and you must believe the truth then you must repent from your sinful life then you must confess by words that the lord jesus christ as the son of god you must be baptized for the remission of your sins every day our lord added those who were being saved into his church be blessed by studying the word of god to receive the voice of truth international magazine and to study the bible systematically through our english bible correspondent course kindly write to us our address gracious word po box 15 Arshwadi Madurai 625016 Tamil Nadu For more details dial 9244204420 9244214421 God bless you The Church of Christ salutes you